Hey guys, it's Mo. I am back with a, another silhouette tutorial. This is like a second parter to one that I did before about how to use Freepik and Inkscape and Silhouette Basic Edition. Today, I'm going to show you how to open an SVG file or, or save and create an SVG file from a Freepik vector file and use it in Silhouette Studio. So we're going to be using freepick.com, which is an online resource for uh, vector files. You can download an AI file, an Adobe Illustrator file. We're going to be opening them today in a program called Inkscape. It is free. It's a free Illustrator program, much like Adobe Illustrator. Um, you can go to, I believe it's inkscape.org. I will leave it down below and download the program. It's really great. It's really cool. I've done two previous tutorials on it, three previous. I think I've done three, including the one I just filmed. So um, we are going to go to Freepik first. So I have gone to Freepik. I searched something and I found these cute little dinosaurs. And Freepik is a free online resource. I think I said this already for vector images. If you have a premium subscription, you can download the image and you or the the file and you don't have to uh, put any credit on whatever you create. If you want to use these for free for personal use, you don't have to attribute anything because you're not selling them. You're just using them for your own personal use. If you want to use these commercially, you do need to uh, put a credit on the thing that you are making saying where you got the images from. All of that licensing and information is on freepick.com. I am not sponsored or a spokesman or nor am I a lawyer. I don't, I just follow the rules and you should too. So I downloaded these. They are actually in my downloads folder here as nice cartoon dinosaurs. We're going to open this Adobe Illustrator file. We're just going to double click on it and it's going to open a little dialog box. I'm going to leave all of this the same. I don't change anything. I just leave it all the same and click OK. And that's going to open the file in Inkscape, which is this program right here. And like I said, Inkscape is a free Illustrator program. It does a lot of the same things that Adobe Illustrator does. I will leave other tutorials that I have down below using Inkscape. Um, it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. What I'm going to do is delete the things I'm not going to use, like the background and this logo that says Designed by Freepik. I don't really want that on my stickers, so I'm not going to use it. So what you want to do is highlight your whatever you call this, the image. Um, or you can, sometimes they will be grouped in parts, like these two might be grouped together and these two might be grouped together or something like that. And you won't know until you start selecting things. So you can also drag, click and drag to select everything. You're going to right click, click ungroup, click ungroup, until you get all the little wavy lines. We're going to work on this brontosaurus guy here, and I'm just going to hold down the shift key and unselect all these guys from Triceratops. Is that what he is? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've studied dinosaur names. So I'm going to move him over here. I'm going to delete his shadow. I'm going to click and drag across him to select everything. And I'm going to hit control G on my keyboard. I'm also going to go up here and make sure I lock the aspect. In my previous video, um, I talked about creating a PNG image from these vector files. A vector file in SVG means that you can scale it up and down, left and right, all the time, whatever, make it big, make it huge, make it tiny, and it's going to have the same image quality at any image ratio, aspect ratio, it's going to have the same image quality. That's what we're going to use in the Silhouette Designer Edition today is an SVG. So what we want to do is have our guy here. And actually, we can go ahead and delete all of this stuff. And for ease of whatever's sake, I'm actually going to scale him back down, bring him back over here. And I'm just going to group all these guys together. This really doesn't matter. I'm just going to do it in case I come back here and need to do something. Um, so we're going to go to File save as I'm going to go to my desktop here and find my dino folder we're gonna save this as an optimized SVG I'm gonna save this as dino group and we're gonna hit save you wanna leave everything that comes checked here or unchecked or whatever just don't touch it just hit OK and it's gonna save it as an SVG file that can be opened in the Silhouette software. So I'm gonna find my Dino folder. You can see I have two of these PNG images in the previous tutorial I made, and then I also have this, uh, which is an SVG. I'm gonna drag this over here 
and it loads it all in here. If you want to work with them separately, just right click and select ungroup. And grouping them in that first step that I did in Inkscape means that they all come together like this instead of being ungrouped all the way down to their basic points. So we're going to go like that. We'll work with this guy because he's going to be really easy to do. Um, so with an SVG in Silhouette Studio, you can size these however the heck you want and they're not going to lose their image quality. Another thing you can do is you can ungroup it and change the fill color. You can change it to be whatever the heck you want. We can change everything, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Make it whatever you want. I'm going to undo all of this. Another easy thing is you can go over here to select by color and select it by fill. And we can select certain parts that we want and change those colors. Um, that way you don't have to sit and go, oh, let me click this one, hold down the shift key and click this one and click this one. We can select all of the little dots by clicking on the color that the dots are. Then we can change all of the dots at the same time to a pink color. So, or whatever else is that same color. Now, another thing you can do that you um, that is very helpful is you would think this is, if you watch the PNG file offset sticker video, you would think that this is sort of the same thing. It's highlighting it as a square. It has a transparent background, so I must have to trace it, and I must have to do all these extra steps to get it to be a um, an offset properly. You don't, though, because if we do, I can't get it to show the points. So, backup plan, if you do the offset initially and you click on offset, it's going to offset everything. I accidentally took something from this guy over here, I think. I think it was probably part of his eyeball. Um, I'm going to ungroup this and delete this little thing and group it again. So, we can go to offset and you can see it's offsetting everything here already. So, we can do, what did we do in the other one? I think I did point two and hit apply and he's already got an offset. We don't have to do that trace option or that trace step. We don't have to do any of that. It's already going to offset it by itself. So that has saved you a step there. So now we have that one. We can go over here, offset, um, point two, offsets done, apply. Now that guy's got an offset. We don't have to do all these extra steps. It's just really easy to just go here, offset, point two, apply. He's got an offset and we're done. Um, so that's a really, really helpful thing rather than having to try and trace it and whatnot. I like using SVG files because they're more of the, I don't know how to say it, like more of a raw file. I know there's something called a raw file in like photography, um, digital photography, but it's more of a, it's more of a raw, a pure file that you can manipulate between Inkscape and between Silhouette software, and I just think it's easier to work with. You can also upload, if you go into Inkscape and you save it as an SVG, you can also upload it to Cricut as an image. You can't do offset and everything in the Cricut, but you can also upload an SVG file to the Cricut Design Space. That's a whole new video though. So this just makes it super easy without having to go through all those different steps. And if you wanted to have a second, oops, what the heck am I doing? A second um, dinosaur, like you just want to have a bunch of different multicolored freaking stegosauruses. You could stegosauri, <laughs> stegosauruses. You can do that. You just change them all in different colors, do whatever you want. It's a great way to manipulate a file um, without having to go back and forth program to program. If you have Silhouette Basic Edition, you have to go back and forth from Inkscape, change the colors in Inkscape, save it as an SVG, or I'm sorry, save it as a PNG, export it as a PNG, bring it over into Silhouette Studio, then repeat the process if you wanted to have a blue one and a green one and a pink one and a purple one. So it's much easier to do this SVG process. Um, and I think it's, I totally think it's definitely worth, I totally think it's definitely worth the money to invest in the um, silhouette designer edition there's a lot more you can do and it just it helps with designing things and so i also want to show you in this tutorial here for you know why not let's ungroup this let's delete this guy i'll move him out of the way too i'll add some text my favorite font right now is babis new i don't know if that's how you spell it and be like hello dino Dion, hello, Dino. I'm going to 
change the line color to nope and I'll change the fill to that. I'm going to make the line spacing smaller. So then you can do this with a PNG too. You just have to trace it and then do the offset with the trace and the text. It's just harder to do. So we can drag and select all, go to offset, offset, 0.4, something to get it to um, connect together and hit apply. And then you see this little guy right here, this little middle part. You can just right click, release compound path, click on him and delete him. And then you have this whole sticker guy right here. I just think that's more helpful um, when it comes to designing. There's less steps that you have to do when you're using an SVG in Silhouette Studio. So you can just you know, lather, rinse, repeat this in any SVG file and you can download from Prepick, open up the AI file in Inkscape, ungroup it, delete all the things you don't want to do. You could just open the file, like we could have just gone here. Whoops, gone to nice cartoon dino. Let's close this, actually close without saving. Um, open, him, open the AI file again, okay. And you could go ahead and do the same thing and just save the whole thing as an SVG and break it apart in Silhouette Studio. I just like to cut out the middleman there. So we can just select all, file, save as, uh, optimize SVG, dino group to save. Don't change anything here. Just hit OK. Once it's done saving, we could go over to Silhouette. I'm going to open a new document, go over to dino, uh, dino group 2. And it's all in here. We can right click, ungroup, and go in and delete the same thing. Delete that guy. Ungroup these guys. Ungroup. Delete all their shadows. Whoops. Now he's invisible. Go through. Select them all. Group them all. You know, that cuts out a little step there too. I just like to do everything and move, move every, save what I'm going to use and use it in, in Inkscape. So I'm sorry, in Silhouette Studio. So that is how you can use an AI and Adobe Illustrator file from FreePick, open that vector file in Inkscape, convert it to an SVG that can be used in Silhouette Studio, use an SVG in Silhouette Studio and create an offset and create you some fun dinosaur stickers. So if this video was helpful, please let me know. I hope that it was concise. Please let me know what other kind of videos you wanna see. I've had some requests and I'm trying to figure out some things on how to get some of them done. So stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna have some more Cricut uh, Design Space videos as well. So if you want to, I would love for you to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Peach, Twitter. All those things are at 5 16 and I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.